the tenth apple effect that's the title of this story hi everyone this is a short story which i'm sure will resonate with each of us a hunter once lost his way deep inside the forest while chasing a deer he used all his skills but neither did he find any way out of the jungle nor could he find any food to eat and now it was a third day that he was without food and he was losing all hope and he thought that he would die out of hunger just then he caught sight of an apple tree he was ecstatic he couldn't believe his eyes he quickly collected at 10 to 20 apples to feed him for the rest of his search as he bit into the first apple his joy knew no bounds he couldn't stop feeling grateful and blessed he thanked god he thanked the universe he was very happy he could not believe his luck when he ate that first apple but he was less grateful when he bit into the second apple and even less grateful when he had the fifth apple and by the time he reached that 10th apple his joy kept had reduced drastically he just could not enjoy the 10th apple he even began throwing away apples which were not tasting so good and complaining about what he thought were some rotten apples now he had already taken for granted the gift of having found an apple tree in the middle of the jungle after 3 days of going hungry and almost giving up on life in economics this is called the law of diminishing marginal utility it is actually the law of diminishing gratitude in simple words taking things for granted or let's call it the 10th apple effect the apple represents a lack of appreciation for the gifts of life the hunter represents all of us and the apple represents all the gifts that life has to give us the 10th apple is as sweet as the first apple if the 10th apple fails to give as much pleasure as the first one the fault is not of the apple but with the person enjoying that fruit right the reason i share this story is that we've been having the 10th apple effect in our world for some time abundance of everything <clears throat> and then we start complaining we complain about people the government traffic food job weather everything but during the lockdown i'm sure that most of you started appreciating lots of things in life which earlier you had taken for granted even small things like it's so nice to be able to talk to another human being I'm so glad that I got fresh vegetables to cook today or thank god I am healthy and safe things like that we never had these thoughts 2 months back didn't even occur to us the present situation is shaking us and showing that we are dependent on something much bigger than what we think and that we have to be grateful for all the blessings now we have started appreciating the luxury we lived in the abundance of food products freedom health servants good old days <laughs> now we are realizing that we had been taking all these things for granted so right now all of us have two choices be grateful or be stressful and it is a choice 
I want to share with you an incident in this regard. I don't know whether it's tr a true incident or it's fiction, but it's a powerful one. A 73-year-old man Italy, in Italy, he got better in the hospital. He was told to pay for the ventilator, the use of the ventilator for one day, and uh, was presented the bill. When he saw the bill, he started crying. The doctors were, you know, tried to pacify him and say that, look, you don't really have to worry, it's okay, we'll manage something. Please, don't be so upset. But what the grandfather told them made the, all the doctors cry. Grandpa said, I'm not crying because of the money that I have to pay. I can pay all that money. I'm crying because I've been breathing God's air for 73 years and I never paid for it. And now it takes 5,000 euros to use a ventilator in a hospital for one day. Do you know how much I owe God? I didn't thank God for that before. Grandpa's wor words are worth our reflection. When we breathe the air freely without pain, no one takes the air seriously. Only when we enter the hospital, we realize that even breathing oxygen with a ventilator costs money. When you change the way you look at things, the things you look at change. Gratitude is a strong, powerful, empowering emotion. Sometimes we have to bring more awareness and, more great, and be more grateful for the gifts in life. Gratitude supports our immune system. It makes us strong. On the other hand, stress makes us weak. One thing I have experienced in life, and that is when you are grateful, you cannot be fearful. The two just don't go together. Be aware of your state of mind and start counting your blessings. Thank you is the best prayer that you can chant all day long. The law of the universe is that when you are grateful for the things you have in life, you will have more things to be grateful for. I repeat, when you are grateful for the things that you have in life, you will have more things to be grateful for. So never let the tenth apple effect make you take the gifts of life for granted. Never let your gratitude for life fade away. Thank you for listening. Stay safe, stay happy and stay grateful.